hello welcome to the channel if you're new here that's great because so am I um, this is my first video and I am starting this channel to share my knowledge of camping more specifically glamping um, and I wanted to share that I have just sold my Van Gogh Icarus 500 for a bell tent now I haven't actually got the bell tent yet I am waiting for it to be back in stock I plan to buy my bell tent from Bell Tent Boutique who have this beautiful website and I must say I am a sucker for a good website so that par partially sold me on, on their website but not just that that I've done a lot of research whenever I do anything or buy any product I do a lot of research and I really feel that although there are a, a lot of good brands out there and I could go with any other brand and be not any other brand but many other brands and be really happy with my purchase I feel that um, the best purchase I could possibly make at the moment is the Bell Tent Boutique tent I am going for a five meter, the fireproof with the um, stove hole pre-done. Um, so I thought I'd just go all out. I'm not gonna start small. I'm gonna go for the bigger tent. I can actually fit it in my garden, we measured. <laughs> so if I need to dry it out, that's great. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk about why I'm moving over to a bell tent. And I think the answer is actually really simple. It is just because they're so pretty. Um, they, I don't know what else to say really. That I was put off for quite a while. I've always coveted the belt tents and always thought, oh my gosh, they're stunning. But what put me off was the maintenance of a canvas tent in comparison to having the modern style tent where you don't have to worry about it as long as you put it away dry you know just put it in the in the shed or in the in the loft or in a cupboard or something and forget about it don't really worry too much but the canvas tents obviously have a tendency to mold if they're not looked after really well so that did put me off i was also where i've always thought you know all oh, single skin tents they're really cold um because I've camped in those little dome tents, the little cheap ones, where you are really freezing. Um, and I've always thought, well, double skin, it helps keep the warm in and um, helps stop the damp from the sides and, and things like that with the condensation build up. Well, I actually did some research and spoke to some people, spoke to a lady, a good friend of mine actually, that already has a bell tent and um, a lot of people said they would never go back. They'd never go back to a, uh, what do you, what would I call them, a modern tent? Um, so yeah, they, they would never go back to the style of tent that I have just sold. Um, the people that bought it actually, they were a lovely couple. They, um, I advertised the tent on Face Bay, which that's what we tend to call it, but I think officially it's called the Marketplace. On Facebook um, I actually I don't usually use Facebook but I, I reinstalled it on my phone just so that I could sell my tent gear and then I've become addicted to the marketplace for buying stuff for the bell tent so I need to pull back on that a little bit because I'm gonna spend all the money on <laughs> gear not actually get the tent but um, I advertised it on there and I pretty much um, put everything half price it wasn't just the tent I sold I sold the, the Van Gogh Icarus 500 with the footprint and the carpet and the awning and the um, it was and an extra carpet that I'd had from a previous tent that I used to use in the bedroom section of the Icarus. Um, I did love the Icarus and I actually wish I'd got more use out of it but we had a child 20 months ago now and um, although I would have gone camping with her last season, I was just so exhausted. She had awful sleep. Um, she was up every hour in the night. And I, the thought of getting everything ready for camping and then, oh no, I just couldn't hack it last year, but I really, really missed it. And this season I'm raring to go and I can't wait to, can't wait to start camping again. So I'm super excited, super enthusiastic. 
about the bell tent coming but I also do wish that I had spent a little bit more time with the Icarus. I'm a little bit sad to see that tent go. Um, I bought the porch for it at the end of, not last camping season gone, not 2018, but the end of 2017, thinking, well, our family has grown. Um, I used to be a single mum, so it used to be just me and my son camping, so the Icarus was fantastic for that, no problems at all. Um, we do full on glamping, although I'd never quite finished my gear set. I don't think you ever finish a gear set when you're camping. There's always things that you want to buy. It's a completely addictive. Um, but I, where was I? Wow. <laughs> um, I think I was talking about the, I'm gonna have to cut this, aren't I? Um, so I am going to really miss that tent. I do wish I'd spent more time in it. I was a single mum um, camping with my son at the time and it was more than adequate for the two of us. But as my family grew and I knew I'd want to continue camping with the new child and my partner and bring them into my love of camping and camping gear and preparing for it all and being out in nature. So... I decided that I would add the porch to the Icarus and just almost double the camping space with that. And it ne the porch never actually got used. I never even took it out of its bag and tested it in the garden. It never got used. I couldn't test it in my garden. Um, I've got such a slope on my garden, which I'm sure I'll show you in another video. Um, but I've got such a slope that I can only pitch the tent like across the garden and um, it, it did the length of the tent with the porch, it just wouldn't have fitted. So I knew I could only test the, the porch awning for the Van Gogh on the, an actual site, so it never actually got used. So the couple that purchased the tent, um, they actually purchased it for their daughter and they've got an absolute bargain. It's a, I would recommend the Van Gogh tent, definitely. Um, but I had to fund the buying of the bell tent. Unfortunately, I don't have unlimited financial resources. So I sold the Van Gogh, everything all together for £300. And that's going to pay for half of my bell tent. Um, so I'm super excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous. Because there is stuff that does kind of, the change, it doesn't worry me. I'm really, really excited, but it, I do have a couple of, mm, you're swapping one side of camping for another and there might be benefits out what, one over the other. And my son has a home tutor and she actually goes camping with the scouts and they use bell tent style, canvas style tents. And she said she wouldn't recommend it. They're really cold. Um, I think she gave a couple of other reasons as well and I can't remember what they were. But I have decided to go for it anyway. Um, because the research I've done online, a lot of people are huge fans. And like I said, my other friend, she wouldn't go back to a, a modern tent. So, um, one thing that does worry me is that people do say that they are colder. But then other people say that's not true. So, part one thing I'd like to do on this channel is do a video about, is it colder? What's my experience switching over? I do plan on having a log burning stove in the tent. Won't be getting that initially, but I will get that later on as and when I can afford it. Um, but obviously I won't be using that every single night that we camp in the tent. There will be nights that I spend without the stove on, even if we've got it in the tent. So I will be able to compare. Um, I would like to use this channel to share my journey. I found on YouTube there's not many videos on bell tent layouts. Um, I'd like to share with people how we lay out the tent. I want to try lots of different layouts and share them all and see how they work for us as a family of four. I'd like to play with layouts as if I was a, just a couple going um, and share all of that. I'd also like to share how I set up my beds for glamping so that we're super warm and super comfortable. Um, how I pack my tiny little car, because um, I've only got a Ford Fiesta, I now have roof bars, thank you to my lovely neighbor um, who gave me some roof bars for my car. And um, 
I now have a roof box and I have a tiny little trailer and I do wish I'd got a bigger trailer but it's kind of part of the challenge of, of camping and glamping trying to fit everything in you've only got a small amount of space um, but we've got uh, a there's two adults a dog which is a miniature poodle and um, we have a 12 year old who will be 13 this year and a one year old who will be two this year and I kind of feel like I'm in a good position to be able to share what it's like trying to keep a toddler warm, keeping a teenager happy um, and changing over to the whole bell tent glamping thing. I'd like to do some product reviews and share with you the things that I'm trying to try and make us more comfortable and try to pare down on that space. I have lots of ideas there. Um, but I am, I'm quite nervous about the switch. I'm excited about the switch. We are building up to a bell tent party in the garden in April. And my garden is like a pikey yard. It's really quite horrific. Um, it's improving slowly over time, but um, I do want to share with you kind of getting my garden ready for, for the bell tent party that we're having to celebrate my mum's 60th birthday. Um, and making that kind of pretty and sort of where we go with our tents and my mum is also getting a bell tent she's also going for the five meter and we would like to share her experience because they are just a couple but often she goes camping on her own as well so it would be really lovely to share the experiences of different people she has her different techniques she uses and I'll bring my friend in as well and she can share her bell tent glamping experiences with us and yeah I think that's kind of my vision for this channel um it's just it's just very exciting and I hope to bring you all along on my journey take care bye